Betty Picks Radio. We've got Tom, I should say, other Tom, one of our two Toms here at Steady Picks, in the house, ready to take me on in a head-to-head competition here, March Madness style. So first things first, man, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Aaron Judge got to 62. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, how nervous were you? As you know, I was getting a little nervous once once he left Yankee Stadium. I was at Yankee Stadium the last Sunday, the last game. It was cold. It was wet. It was windy. It was miserable. The Yankees scored one run, didn't even get an RBI. It was on an error. It was basically just an awful game to go to. But he hit the home run in Texas, which if he hadn't, I think would have created some little cloud over the Yankees. You know, the reporters are going to ask, oh, does not hitting the home run distract you, blah, blah, blah. You know, those questions were going to be there. So, thankfully, we don't have to answer those. Gave the team a lot of energy, a little boost. I'm no. excited for the playoffs. Absolutely, man. I don't think I don't think any baseball fans wanted that to linger on. And, you know, he's, he's such a good dude to judge. Yeah, everybody was rooting for 62. Absolutely. Well, um, before we dive into the bracket, which is up on the screen here, I want to quickly touch on two things. Number one, we did a season-long competition. Um, That episode aired on our podcast network. I want to tip my hat to Tom, who did incredibly well in that. He hit four out of six division winners, made clear to, you know, like four to five units in that piece of it. He hit Sandy Alcantara to win the NL MVP. Probably. We don't don't know for – no, not for Cy Young. Cy Cy Young. Mm-hmm. We're not sure yet, but it's pretty clear he's going to win. It's not official, but yes, we're pretty sure about that. Well, let's be real. It would be robbery if he didn't get that. But Sure, sure. Just saying. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. I don't want to jinx your ticket. I don't want to jinx your ticket, but I will. I know you're you're chomping at your teeth right now to say my results. I'll do it for you, Tom, unless. I do want to dance on your grave a little bit. We, Go ahead. We picked all six division winners each. How many of those six did you get correct? None. That's a big. That's a big donut. <laughs> that's a big donut. O for six. Um, I got four out of six, which honestly is pretty darn good. I think, right? I mean, that's, four out of six. Seriously, especially considering there was a lot of plus money in there. You didn't grab fate. I think you had one favorite in the whole bunch that won at least of your four. Yeah, I had the Yankees, Braves, Cardinals, and Dodgers. Obviously, the Braves came from behind. Nobody really thought they were going to have a chance until the last few weeks. But, um, yeah, Yankees, Braves, Cardinals, Dodgers. Um, The Dodgers were the only heavy favorite there. I forget going into the season, the Yankees may have been the favorite within the division, but they were still plus 230. Um, Actually, no, the Blue Jays were, believe it or not. Really? Mm-hmm. Jeez. I, um... I had a lot of Blue Jays money. I, I liked that team coming in. The Yankees were second to the Blue Jays. I remember you were dog. We should go back to the tape. Remember you were dogging me for that pick. I mean, the Yankees at the end of the day, it's it's the Yankees. Like the Blue Jays, they're cl- they're close, but it's hard. It's a long season. Hey, we you Just never know. Yeah, I can't. We'll we'll get into the Mets collapse again shortly here, um, but. Yeah, man. I mean, we'll see what's go. Well, the Blue Jays are in, so they're going to get a shot to, to show what they've got here. Do you want to go ahead and just dive right right into the bracket? Let's do it, man. But let's let's talk about what's at stake here. All right. So this is big. This is going we've been doing this for like, you know, five, six, seven years at this 2018 point. 2018 was the first year. 2018. But this is going to be the first year that we're actually playing for a trophy in That's this. Right. So. The stakes are going to be high. I know if I win, you'll be getting the updates on how the trophy's looking on my desk. But one way or another, man, someone's going to get it. Yeah, I think I think this is a good move. Um, we'll pick the playoff bracket each year. Winner of the playoff bracket gets the trophy. And uh, the way we're structuring it is um, each round is is worth one point more than the previous round. So you pick the right winners of the wild card round. You get a point two points for the next round, three points um, for the World Series pick, and four points for getting the right World Series winner. So that way it's not so heavily weighted on the World Series winner. Like you you don't have to get the World Series winner to 
right to win it all. I, I'm telling you, man. Now, keep in mind my baseball track record for the the loyal steady picks. People know I'm an NFL better for the most part in terms of that's what I'm taking serious by our community as. But I feel so good about this playoff board right now, Tom. I'm telling you, man. Let's let's dive in. Let's dive in on the NL side if you're good with it to start go, things off. Of course, you want to start with your your Phillies. We'll start there. Go ahead, lead us off, Mister Confident. It's been 11 years. It's been 11 years since I've gotten to watch Phillies playoff baseball, okay? I, and here's the thing, though, Tom. Now we're back to business. I've got the Phillies to win this series to start it off. Of course you the do. Phil the Phillies dodged a bullet here because I was, I was a lot more worried about drawing the Mets. Um, but we got the Cardinals. The games will all be played in St. Louis. The Phillies have a pretty good track record against the Cardinals this year. And honestly, I, I think these two teams are neck and neck. So, you know, I'm, I'll roll with the dogs. The Phillies are plus 110 on BetMGM, I think, in terms of, like, the betting odds. Let me uh, – yeah, they're plus 110, Cardinals minus 135. So the books have it pretty evenly priced. Yeah, it's not too far off. Honestly, I'm across the board, I think there's four teams that are in one class – and really, I think there's I think there's three classes here. You got the, the the Astros and the Dodgers. They're in one class. The Yankees and the Braves are in the next class. I do think the Braves are better than the Mets. It just took them a while to get there. And then I, I feel like everybody else is in the same class. Like all the three, four, five, six ranks on both sides. Flip a eight sided coin for those eight teams. It's they're all pretty equal. I feel like, except for the Phillies. The Phillies are in the, their own class at the bottom in the in the trash can. <laughs> The, the thing about the Phillies, man, is they're, you know, we're in the wild card round and they're just a true wild card team. You don't know what you're going to get from them on a given night. You know, like Aaron Nola or Wheeler might throw a gem. We might put up 12 runs or it might be a disaster. They're they're the wild card of the whole playoffs, in my opinion. So it is who are you true. taking you going Cardinals. I'm going Cardinals all the way. Um, I think that. uh They've got some really good mojo going on with the three guys, the Molina, Pujols, and uh, Wayne Wright retiring. Watching them all walk off the field together the other day, that was just special. Any baseball fan had to see that being special. And they were my pick, division pick at the beginning of the year, so I'm going to stick with them. I got to ask you, man, do you think it's weird that Pujols got that, like, he just – I don't know if it was what really caused that, but he's he's looking like an all star in the last couple of months of his career. He's been incredible. Um, I mean, like legitimately one of the best hitters in baseball yeah. in the second half, like by the stats. I mean, he's legit. I mean, he's one of the greatest hitters of all time. And anybody that's played baseball knows and watched it enough, but especially people that play it know that like there's this energy field that you can just tap into. And then all of a sudden you can just be on this, in this rhythm in the zone. Um, mm -hmm. Similar to like how, you know, Steph Curry could hit like nine, three pointers in a row, but over the course of, you know, weeks or months. And that's what pool holes is in right now. He's just in the zone and he's one of the greatest hitters of all time. So it's not, I love that so comparison. Crazy. Yeah, man. Well said, well said. He's, he's in the flow state. He is but, he's uh, in the flow. Let's keep it moving then down to the Padres and the Mets. Interesting gonna, pick here. Very interesting. I'll let you lead this one off. I'm I'm going to stick with the Mets. I think that they they need this week off. They are the team that benefits from the – oh, wait, they don't get a full week off actually, so I take that back. Wow. They would really benefit from a week off. Let's put it that way. They've been struggling. They still have two of the best pitchers in the game, the Padres – they're exciting. I don't know. I'm going to go with the Mets. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go with the Mets as well. And this is a, this is one truthfully where if the betting odds were in play here, like if I was incentivized to have a dog, I think this is like neck and neck, man. I think we're hanging on to the Mets pitching. Obviously, there's those big guns in the rotation, but I think momentum you know, I, we talk about this a lot, how quickly it can shift to, but I don't like the momentum that the Mets bring in offensively. 
I don't know. I I, I think the Padres have an edge. Um, so for me, man, the only reason I'm going to go with the Mets here is because they've been really good at home this season too. And I give them a slight tilt in the starting pitching, but uh, like, do you feel confident about this Mets pick? Let me ask you no, that. No, it's the Mets. You never can feel <laughs> confident about the Mets. But, I mean, I don't think it's a slight nod in starting pitching. It, DeGrom and Scherzer are two of the, if not number one and two in baseball, certainly two out of the top five, you know, or better. So, I think I think they'll figure it out. Um, they, got, they got all the games at home, which helps. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's why they play. That's why they play. All right, so we we line up there. Now, do you want to do you want to flip over to the other wild card series, or do you want to keep going through the NL? Uh, yeah, let's go round by round. Let's 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 like go back that. to the AL now. All right, so we'll go to the Tampa Bay Rays and the Guardians. I'm curious where you go with this one, man. You're you're familiar with this Rays team? The Rays. You know, the Rays are always pesky. The Rays are always super annoying, but they're extra super annoying at home on the turf with the fucking rafters and all the bullshit down in Tampa. And they're not going to get that. Um, the games are at Cleveland. I think Cleveland is a sneaky team. They're in this weak division overall, but they got some nice young players. Um, and, and, you know, they got um, Jose Ramirez and they got that young, I forget the young pitcher who's like, Tristan like McKenzie. A, yeah. McKenzie. He's, he's the man. I want to see him. I love pitch him. Well. Um, so yeah, I'm going with the Cleveland. I think Cleveland is actually uh I'm not excited for them to play the Yankees, to be honest. I'm, but we'll get there in a minute. So there's a stat that I saw that correlates really well into postseason success. There's two things that I, I really like to look at. Bullpen stats and the ability to put the baseball in play offensively. Teams that do not strike out frequently. And as a Yankee fan, you can't relate to this, okay? but No, it's terrible. The two teams in this playoff bracket that are above and beyond any other team in baseball in terms of putting the ball in play and not striking out are number one, the Guardians, and number two, the Houston Astros. Now, with that being said, I'm taking the Rays, man, because I love getting them as a dog here. They're Not that the odds matter. They're plus 110, um, Guardians minus 135, so pretty neck and neck, but... Man, I just love the Rays' bullpen. I love the way that, although it didn't go so well a couple years back with the Blake Snell situation, but Kevin Cash is a great manager. I, I like the Rays here. I'll take the dog. That two, two. I think that was just a wild move. Here, you're waxing poetic. Oh, I have these <laughs> deep analytic stats. This is my wisdom of being a sports gambling expert, and I'm going against it. <laughs> but no, hey. Man. That's again. I, I I I respect the pick. We'll have a. I have Cleveland. You have Tampa Bay. There. That's good. Um. But we'll see. I mean, I think it's a toss up. I don't think either team is heavily favored. I really do like this three games at home though. That is, I like that. I hated the one game, man. I'll tell you that to play 162 games and let it come down to one, like the previous format. Didn't like that. I liked it, except I wish that they allowed the top four teams by record to take the top four spaces because last year the Padres, you know, they won like 105 games and played the one game. I like the one game playoff, but I think they needed to do the, the seedings and not give an automatic bid to the, to the division winners, you know? Yeah. I think that was the mistake, but yeah, I like this. I, you know, it, it's only a matter of time realistically until they go to eight teams they're going to add two more teams expansion and then two more playoff teams probably, but that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. And final note on that, man, it's, it, it is fun. Cause I look at this as a Phillies fan. And if this was last year's format, we're out, there is no yep. postseason baseball. So, yep. um, all right, let's keep it moving though. Let's go to the Mariners and the blue Jays. Let me pull up the, the betting line here. Will you lead this one off? Yeah. I mean, Mariners and blue Jays. I think the Mariners are, uh, I'm not a believer in the Blue Jays, number one. They're a scary team, but they haven't proven it yet. Maybe they can prove me wrong this year. I think Seattle spent 21 years there. They they got the excitement. They uh, I always forget the guy's name. They they traded for who the, who's the starting pitcher they traded for? Robbie Ray? Uh, no, 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 no. They traded. Oh, the, oh, um, from the from the Reds. Flame Castillo. 
Castillo. They traded for Castillo. Um, you know, they, they got into the playoffs on this walk off. It's been a hundred years since they've been in there. <clears throat> so I'm going with uh, Seattle over Toronto. All right, man. Well, there's going to be no, uh, no ties or anything like that in this because I'm going with the blue Jays, uh, all day just to, just to win with firepower outscore them. I don't care about the starting pitching. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be on so other the first stats. round. The only team we align on is the Mets who are probably going to lose. So it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> the team that's on upset alert. Oh man. Um, all right. So you want to, you want to go back to the NL or you want to stay over here? Sure. Let's go. Uh, you know, next round you have Philly versus Atlanta. I have St. Louis versus Atlanta. Kick, kick us off. Go ahead. Are you going to stick with the Philly? The Phillies, for, for the listeners out there, we've been doing this. this. is year five we've been doing this. The Phillies kill my boy, my boy Ricky. They kill him every year because he picks Harper. He picks Nola. He picks them to win the division. He can't help himself. So who wins the Philly-Atlanta matchup this year? It's a red October the Philadelphia Phillies are taking out the Braves. We're going to St. Louis. We're taking out the trash in St. Louis. Nolan Arenado, Paul Goldschmidt, you had a good year. See ya. Then do we're going want, to Atlanta. <laughs> do you want this trophy or do you just? Listen, the picks, the Phillies, the picks, the Phillies, who you got? I think Atlanta is cruising at the right time. They're, they won the World Series last year. They are better than last year. They got Acuna. They got these exciting new rookies. Um, I think it's going to be a, a close matchup between the Cardinals and the Braves. Um, but I think the, the the Cardinals' magic runs out and the Braves take it. Yeah, I mean, I, I really do like this Braves team. I'm just telling you, though, the Phillies, like the last series they played with the Braves, they're not scared of this team. They're not intimidated by them. So if the Phillies get through... I'll be feeling very good, but it's a big if. We need them to get through. Um, all right. So the next series here, we've got the Dodgers and the Mets, both of us. Where are you going? You got to go Dodgers. I mean, I think it'll be exciting if the Mets are there and they've got the top two pitchers, but they're going to have to burn them. The, if, you know, if the Mets move on, they'll have to use um, the – top two guys in games two and three realistically um which isn't a huge deal but it's not as good as one and two and uh the dodgers they're just they, they just have so much talent it's almost a foregone conclusion so i'm going dodgers yeah man i'm i think the dodgers are just a powerhouse uh it's it comes down to the the bats for me like both teams have very good pitching i don't you know, I, I trust the Dodgers offense light years above the Mets. So I'm with you, Dodgers. Dodgers and Phillies in my NLCS. Let's, 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 uh, you know, we're on a roll on the NL. Why don't we just keep it going and, and fill out the next, uh, the who wins that series? If you got the Phillies going up against the Dodgers, the one seed versus six seed, David versus Goliath, who are you picking? So as much as I, I want to go Phillies the whole way through here, I think this is where it ends. I think this is where it ends in five or six games. We get taken out by the big guns. The big money comes in, and uh, I got Dodgers here. I, you know, you can't knock that pick. Uh, I'm going Braves. I think the Braves are just – I think they're just a strong all-around team. Uh, it would be a rematch of last year. And I think the Braves are going to take it home again. And back to back clarify, NL champions. That round is worth how many points? Three points. So that will be a big yeah, That'll be a big pick. All right. Big so pick. so I've got I've got the Dodgers representing the National League. You've got the Braves representing the National League. Let's move it back to the AL where we've got uh, the Yankees playing different opponents here. But who do you have advancing out of your your Guardians Yankees? I have to go with my Yankees here. I think they're going to be rolling. Um, I still think that they have the edge over Cleveland overall. Um, so I'm going to the Yankees to make it to the ALCS. So this is where it's tough for me, man, because 
I'm a big believer that the Yankees, I mean, the, the Rays own the Yankees. Like they really, I don't know, for whatever reason, but they have to get through the Guardians. And it could really hurt me in terms of this format to have a team that doesn't get through the wild card round going far. But you got to take chances in life. Give me the Rays. I respect the move. You got both six seeds advancing to the ALCS. The Rays have been a thorn in the Yankees' side for the last like 15 years. So, yeah, we'll see. That's why they I'll play. I'll say this, though, man. If that's Guardians, Yanks, I love the Yanks. If it's Rays, Yanks, I'm on the Rays. It's, you know, to me, it's it's that matchup that I like. But fair enough. What do you have on the other side of the AL? You got Houston against Toronto. So I feel really similar to the last series as this, that like, I think the Blue Jays could beat, I know you don't have them, but I think the Blue Jays could beat the Astros. I'm going to go with the Astros purely because of kind of what I touched on earlier, that a lot of those key metrics that align with playoff success, the Astros are like number one in all of them. So I'm not going to get in my own way here. Houston Astros advance. Yeah, I think you got to go with the Astros. It's, it'll be their first series of the playoffs, um, you know, of course, with the first round bye. And uh, they're they're really strong. Verlander is ageless. Um, I'm picking the Astros as well. Love it. So you've got the Yankees and the Astros in the ALCS. I've got the Rays and the Astros. Um, I'll just start it off by saying I've got the Astros representing the American League. Who you got? Same. It pains me. It absolutely pains me. But this is one of those win-win situations. If the Yankees win, that's great. The Yankees are in the World Series. Fantastic. If Houston wins, great. I've got the points in our little bet. I'll take the trophy home. But uh, I think the Yankees have a lot of holes. Their bullpen just keeps getting decimated. They've lost all sorts of guys. And like you were saying, they don't put the balls in play. Um, and in the playoffs, you got to manufacture runs. And, you know, they can get hot. They got as much talent as anybody. No doubt. And their pitching is strong, too. I mean, Cole hasn't – he's had three straight bad playoffs, so he better figure it the fuck out. But Nestor – I mean, Nestor finished with an ERA under two and a half. I mean, Nestor had a tremendous season, Cortez. And Severino literally had pitched a no-hitter the other day. It took him out after seven innings, didn't give up a hit. He was throwing – his last pitch was 100 miles an hour. He's um, becoming relevant again, you're telling me. Yes. Now we don't need to rehash the the <laughs> great debate where a few years ago uh, you've refused to give in on Severino being an ace, which he just was the ace of the Yankees. It wasn't really up for debate, but you found a way to debate it. Uh, but yeah, I think this year the Yankees have a shot if they play well, but I think they got a lot of holes. So I'm going to go Houston. All right. All right. We got, we got our world series. Then we agree on one side, the Houston Astros, um, and by the way, for anybody watching or listening, the Houston Astros were like plus 450 to win the World Series. I like those odds still, given everything. Um, so what some are of they now still plus four. No, 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 like they're currently plus 450. Um, so it's interesting. You got the Braves, I've got the Dodgers. You want to lead it off with your with your winner? I'm going a repeat of last year. Braves over Houston. I really think the Braves just they're vibing at the right time. They've got a I think they're better than last year and they won the World Series. So how do you pick against? Yeah, I mean to have a Acuna back too, like yeah. It's a scary thought. It's a scary thought. Swanson, they just got a really well rounded team where Dodgers are really well rounded also, but just with stars. Yeah, I mean for me, Who's your man, pick, Dodgers or or uh, Astros? I'm gonna go with the Astros. I'm gonna go with the Astros. I actually bet this that plus four fifty. Um, so no need to back away from it now, man. I just think they're the best team in baseball. I, very like every across the board, they just don't have a weakness. Um, not that Atlanta or the Dodgers necessarily does either, but. Astros for me. I respect it. I uh, it pained me enough to pick them to win over the Yankees. I can't pick them to win overall. That's just against goes my against my religion. So uh, it's set. They're locked in. 
They're locked in, man. That will we'll see who gets this little trophy, man. I'm I'm telling you, it, it sounds bold taking the Phillies all the way through. We'll see how this ages, but one way or another, we're gonna have a winner. Um, and we'll have to do maybe one more episode to just recap everything. And uh, yeah, anything else on your end? Any any final thoughts before we head out of here? Just looking at the brackets, the thing that stands out the most is that I have Atlanta going the whole way, and you have Atlanta losing in their first opportunity. So that the, what could swing this whole thing is how far Atlanta goes here. Hey, let's hope the dogs are out for my sake. But Steady Picks Radio, thank you for listening. Uh, we'll have this episode available on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all those good places. Tom, thank you again, my man. Enjoy, enjoy October baseball. I'm not going to say go Yanks, but enjoy watching them, if nothing else. I hope the Phillies at least make it interesting. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. We'll see. But uh, Steady Picks Radio, we're out. <laughs>